think right. we should yeah, just introduce ourselves. We really. probably should introduce ourselves. Hi, everybody. Um, if anybody's watching, um, I'm I'm Rupert. This is Josh, and we are introducing Mr. Dan Hayden. Hello. Um, so we're really late to the party on this one, but because <laughs> apparently there is another announcement coming up. I feel a theme come on here. Oh god, we're yeah. late to everything. Eventually, because we're so disorganised, we'll be about two weeks behind everything. I apologise for that. Um, last time I recorded a video, it took me a week to get it uploaded. Um, so, so what, what we're talking about is the game Star Trek Attack League. Um, Which we're all players of. Yes, yeah. all three of us have been playing it. Uh, Dan is the third flatmate. Um, which means he probably should have appeared in videos before this, but trying to get him is like organising cats. Um, so anyway, about a year ago, maybe 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 eight months. But, Something like that. Um, Tucker Kobe, and I'm hope, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, um, from State of the Federation, uh, sort of broke some news about changes, some pretty big changes to Star Trek Attack Wing, and we're going to talk about them. So, I mean, the first one, which I think has been needed for a while, X-Wing had it, um, when Force Awakens came out, which mm. is a new rulebook. Um, Wasn't that know. also an upheaval of factions as well? To a degree. they. It, I think they just consolidate everything, which I think is what's happening here. Yeah, well, what, what happened with X-Wing, because I, I was a big X-Wing player back in the day, um, they decided to add the Resistance and the First Order into it, but said that they're pretty much rebelling and Empire at the same time. Which makes sense, Yeah, maybe. so it worked out quite well. Yeah, so I think it's probably going to be along those lines, uh, more of a consolidation of the rules that exist rather than a complete upheaval, which is actually what a lot of people would want. Um, I'm sure there are elements of the game I'd like to change. Yeah, well, some balancing issues. Make, making photon torpedoes useful in any kind of way would be nice. No, plug mines. Yeah, that's there's a lot anyway. that we could gripe um, about with this game, but let's not get into yeah, that. That's oh a God. whole other video. <laughs> Moaning about Attack Wing. Despite the fact we all play it, I mean, I play every OP I can. Um, yeah, well, you organise it yeah. as well. So, so I mean, I think it's going to be a small change. I think it is going to be a consolidation of things like the the rules that came out for the Borg and regeneration that weren't in the original rulebook. Also, the shift of Borg shooting range because they reduced from they couldn't shoot at range three, or has yeah, that been reversed? It's they now they changed their movement rules and they changed the way their firing works. So yeah, they re reduced the range two. Which in our community we tend to ignore. We keep the new movement rules because they make more sense. Oh yeah, but, they, um, they actually work quite a bit better, I think. They well, they're not better in gameplay terms, but they work with the theme of the fleet. Yeah, mm. that's not as annoying when you just don't know where they're going. Exactly. Um, John still makes them irritating. Yeah, that's John. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a new rulebook coming out. Apparently, it's going to be online, so you can just download it, which is decent. Um, so the next thing they are releasing is faction packs. So what this is is I think it's three or four ships in one pack. And how many races? Wait, which races are we getting? Because isn't so, there? We're getting a so this is Romulan Dominion. Are we getting a federation? There's not. They're the only two, as far as I'm aware, that they've announced. It's been rumored that it's playing on and federation as well. Probably. It makes I sense would, given yeah. the big races um, in that game and who it's plays. Really them. good to see Dominion getting a release because they haven't had anything for about a year. See, I would say if we're going to move into the faction packs thing, and because they're so emergent and they were a prize issue, I think we need a Zindi Z faction pack. Zindi I would think be that lovely. would be really but then, good for the game. I love Zindi. So, um. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm aware, <laughs> but it's because they're, they're such an... Well, they're, they're, they're a very new yeah. race to the game. I think that it would be really cool, especially to Enterprise fans. And there are some. Yeah. I us think included. Of us. Yeah, uh, we I like Enterprise. Yeah, so they're basically, apparently, it's everything you need to play a new race. So if you didn't, say, play Dominion at all, I know you've got like one ship for one minute. I have the Aldara. Yeah. So you could pick that up, and everything in there will be new guards, new ships, and everything to play. Are these going to be, oh, wait, they're not retail ships, they're just completely... They're completely new. new. Oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, I didn't know that. What that's I'd like packs a lot better. is if they take a model <laughs> that, um, if they take a model that, Games Workshop used with some of their 40k releases in the last um, couple of years and include a rule book and everything you need to play in there as well. So instead of buying a starter set with one ship from each faction, it's essentially a starter set with everything you need to play the game but the one faction that you want. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I almost feel like it will be, but... Uh, I don't think it will happen, though. No. Well, again, we can take the um, the cue from what x did when they released the... Uh, yeah, with the Hantani faction with the yeah. you know, wolf section. I imagine it'll be a lot like that. 
Um, so following that, we have card packs. So this is a lot, from what I see, or from my understand, it's like the OP prizes are now. Mm. So instead of having a ship, it's got a small deck of cards, I think a manoeuvre dial and a base plate. So these will be the new the new prize ships. No, they no. won't be prize ships. These oh, are okay. retail. So where they're releasing. So you could go to somewhere like well, our local is Dave's. So you could go to somewhere like Dave's and pick up, let's say, the refit Enterprise. Instead of getting a model with it, you'll just get the cards. Yeah. yeah. Really okay. Um, so yeah, and because they're releasing repaints and reprints of everything, they'll probably come out concurrently with things like so it'll be like the Reliant will come out as a reprint mm. and there'll be a newly painted model and all the cards as it was originally mm. um, and then they'll release something like this isn't announced this is just an assumption for say the Saratoga which is also a Miranda class so you'll have the, the option to buy the model mm. and then a 24th century just, to get yeah, the cards. So just the additional stuff mm. I think this is a great idea yep. it's going to be a nice way of Meaning that you don't have to go and spend, if a ship is good and you just want specific upgrade cards from it, you don't have to go and spend twelve, you know, 24 yeah. quid plus if you want two of them. Because presumably they're going to take back, I don't know how much money they're going to take off, but I'm presuming it's going to be quite a substantial think reduction in I've seen RRP. something like $10 US. Which is so we're going to be looking be about somewhere between five and eight pounds, I think. Yeah. Um, which is fine. I'm happy with that. We've had some chips confirmed already, haven't we? Yeah, so I just can't remember off the top of my head. I know one of them was prototype zero two, so yeah, so that would be the little Romulan drone ship. It'd be free hand for me. Yeah, well, yeah. God, I hate that fucking ship. The old, the other one would be fine, I'm sure. Um, I think there's a Cardassian dreadnought, which yeah. is a missile, which is strange because that only like the ship is a missile. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's I'll show you the episode at some point. We'll do a. a it's sort of a, a talk, we'll, talking point. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that episode. We'll, we'll probably do like a. a Live commentary. Yeah, like that'll that. work. That'll come um, soon. So, the last thing to talk about really is unpainted ships. So, this is something that really affects me more than others because mm. I repaint everything. Mm. Um, because, I mean, they're improving, but historically, yeah. Wiz kids have not been good with their paint jobs. Yeah, we can. Um, they, can. well, I mean, if you're going to just take anything, take something like this Oberta class. That's one which, of the better ones of the old ones. Um, but well, let's not slag them off too much. No, I mean, they're nice yeah, models. Their they're, they're models are great. And once they're repainted, they're lovely. And their um, sculpts are actually yeah. pretty decent. Isn't it all uh, repurposed models from their uh, uh, hero ships? Yes, yeah, it is. Pretty much. Um, well, when, when you compare them to other systems which do repainted models, there's a lot lacking. Yeah. Look at the X-Wing models, because they are beautifully painted. Yeah, that I've, Falcon model for X-Wing is just lovely. Well, I've wanted to get a Star Destroyer for Star Wars Armada, not because I play the game, just to have on display, because mm. I like Star Destroyers. Um, that's kind of it. Apparently there is an announcement coming up in the next few days, but that's not for us to break. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's happening to the game. It's a real shame that the game's dropping players, because I think it is actually going... The problem is, though, what people saw as a fun game has become a very competitive game. Yes. Mm. And, uh, I think it's got Well, to we know a few of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I think it's got to the point that a lot of games get to where it kind of mm. needs a new edition to really reinvigorate yeah. it. And this kind of feels like that. Um, I mean, it's not the drastic change that I'd make. Maybe at some point we'll do a video about that because I've got some ideas on what I'd change in Attack Wing. But, um, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Sorry, you didn't get much to say, Dan. No, um, much to say, really. No, but this is Dan. We'll probably do more with him at some point. Yep. You're a Guildhall player. I am so a Guildhall player, so... Plenty of tabletop games. You're getting back into 40k as well. So. Yes. Well, I'm getting back into the Horus Heresy more than 40k, yeah. so... Yeah, um, we'll probably do some chat about that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Don't forget um, to uh, do the usual. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe it all. Uh, follow me and Rupert on Twitter. Dan doesn't have one, but... Um, Maybe he will one day. Who knows? Anyway, we'll I'm... make him one. Yeah, we'll force <laughs> him to do it. Thanks. I'm at that again, 93. I'm at Vife, but I'm actually Rupert. Mm. As I'll put all the links down in the description. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.